What's up guys, Jared Productions here, and uh, just before I get the video off, I just want to state that this is my opinion why I'm not going to buy either the Xbox One or the PS4 console this holiday season, and why I am actually really pissed off at both of these companies and their products. Alright, if you've seen Rich's video, aka Review Tech USA, on YouTube, and how the Xbox One's going to run at 720p on Call of Duty Ghost due to these network issues that are going on, when I saw that, like, I I couldn't believe that, but apparently it is true. I mean, his sources were very, very, very well. I know who what he's talking about, too. I can't say it either. But it's just, why are they advertising 1080p and not doing 1080p? And then the one guy, I can't pronounce the same, I'm not going to try. Then he calls his video so stupid. Like, they're acting like little babies. I mean, seriously, what is going on here? I mean, this is complete bull crap. I mean, and then I saw Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight's video. I think that's how you say the numbers are correct. But and then apparently in the second patch, they're just gonna put streaming. Like YouTube is not gonna be supported. MP3 is not be supported. But able to put your MP3s on the thing until the second patch. I mean, if people would not have complained, like all these people out here, like. Boogie got them people to start doing it. If nobody got their voices heard about this, they wouldn't have even done it. It would have been nothing, and people couldn't do anything about it. But thanks to the power of YouTube, we're getting that back finally, and I'm I'm really thankful of that. But seriously, I mean, that's mostly why I'm not going to buy the consoles. Second of all, I mean, I got a PC, and I'm not a fanboy, like I said, neither. But, I mean, it does everything I can ever imagine to do. And I don't want all these restrictions like they're doing on there. Like, you can't play these games or all that backtracking stuff may not happen. But, yeah, this is like, I don't know why they're going to restrict you. Like, if we buy, we're going to buy your products anyway. But if you buy the product and you give us suggestions, like in the FAQ, they all said no, 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 no for every single thing. And, like, why? Why not? Are you going to let your users enjoy your product, or are you going to let them hate it and not buy the next one that you release? Like, you want them to pay for Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus, or you do you want them to not? I mean, I really, really do not get these companies anymore, like, why they're not doing this, but... Yeah, I know this video is pretty short, but I'll go more in depth a little bit later in the next video, but, uh, peace, guys. Hey, guys, <laughs>